Hi, uh, my name is Robert Creamer. I'm a professor of photography at CCBC. I teach a basic level class and an advanced level class. I fell in love with photography when I was about 19 years old, which is really the same age as many of my students. So it's real easy for me to try to convince them that photography is worthwhile. But I, um, I was doing nature photography. I had a friend that had a high-end film camera and he let me look through it. And all of a sudden the world looked different because I was looking through a lens and I could edit out the rest of the world and just really concentrate on things that I found really interesting. Well, you know, I started, I was a botany major for three and a half years. So I was studying plants and I, uh, I realized I didn't want to spend the rest of my life with these people. They were all kind of always focusing their eyes down a microscope or they were going to be squirreled away somewhere in some herbarium identifying plants. And I had this friend who showed me his camera and then I realized that I would rather take pictures of plants than collect them. So that's what I did. I started taking pictures of plants and then I found I would back up a little bit and then it'd be a plant and a rock. Then it'd be a plant, a rock and a stream, plant, a rock and a stream. And now all of a sudden I'm making landscape photographs. So I started to visit New York a lot and I would go to the galleries in New York and I would look and I would study the photographs of landscape photographers. And once I realized that I could just really put my life's energy into this, I fell in love with the work of Edward Weston. And then I applied to school at MICA and uh, self-taught with my portfolio. I was accepted. Um, I think that I landed here at CCBC, first of all, in a part-time basis. And when you decide to be an artist or a freelance photographer, um, you're, always in, uh, you're always in a state of needing just a little bit more money. So I have to admit that I started teaching. I like to teach, I like to share my experiences, but teaching always allowed a certain paycheck to come in when photography and artist, it's a lot of times it's feast and famine. So I held on for a long time teaching part-time and uh, I really became a dedicated teacher. I think that teaching and sharing what I know and what I think about photographs and art, I think help other people and I, I'm interested in doing that. So CCBC has been good. Right now I'm using alternative uh, ways to capture imagery. So a lot of times it's not with a camera, but right now I'm doing studies of botanical items in states of decay by using a large flatbed scanner. So technology, whichever changes, uh, allows me new ways to interpret things and to see things. So now I'm using a large flatbed scanner where I put plants that are aging, that are in decay, they're in trans transition, and I find beauty in the plants that more than likely most people would have thrown away by now. So, but I'm now using a scanner and then I'm making very large prints. I make 40 by 56 inch images. So it really allows you to scrutinize kind of these interiors of these plants that you normally wouldn't you know, have an opportunity to see. Now, advice, advice for photographers or any artist, um, you, you really have to, make sure that you're working from a standpoint of you're almost driven to be that artist. It's, it's not a casual relationship. It's not something that all of a sudden you think, you know, you're going to wake up and be an artist. It's a, it, it, it takes a constant level of energy. And, you know, people say even, even passion, maybe it, that might not be enough. It, you know, we can all be passionate about it, but uh, you just have to think that, that you have to create every day you wake up, you don't have a choice. And another thing is that uh, a lot of this you're doing by yourself. It's not, I mean, a musician can be a part of a band and you can get support from other people. But boy, when you wake up and you're a painter and you face that easel and it's blank, I mean, it's like a writer who puts that piece of paper in their typewriter. But it's the same thing with photography. You just constantly have to drive and drive. And you're, you're always looking for new clients, you're always educating people about what the results can be. 
So it, it's got to be more than just passion, and it's got to be more than just talent. You just you, it, it's almost as though it chooses you. The Green Plus was very informative. I learned a lot about Photoshop. I wasn't really much that into photography before I got in his class. Now I want to pursue it as part of my career. I feel like he was a really good professor. He was very helpful, and I really, I just really enjoyed the class. I had Dr. Kramer in 2017. Uh, he was kind of like my introduction to photography in a way. He helped me build my portfolio. He helped me learn different parts of the camera. He helped me learn how to use the camera. So with that, I really enjoyed his class and the skills that he taught me through it.